Hello and welcome back to another special episode of No Sense for Nonsense. Today we're going to talk about Justin Bieber and Anne Frank. Now the other day, I was watching a video by Ickle Nelly Rose, a YouTuber whose videos I enjoy fondly, a video about Justin Bieber, a person who I don't really care about, nor do I really want to talk about, but Ellie said something in her video that caught my attention, and this is what she said. But something was recently brought to my attention about Justin Bieber through a friend on Facebook who posted up a post originally written by the Anne Frank House official Facebook page saying that Justin Bieber had visited and he'd also signed the guest book. Now, what did he write in the guest book? If you don't know already, let me tell you. Truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully, she would have been a believer. Before I continue, if you don't know who Anne Frank is, that means that you've had, or you have, the worst history teacher on the planet. Now, Anne Frank was a young World War II victim who wrote the book The Diary of a Young Girl, which was the documentation of her ordeal and her family's hiding during the Nazi occupation in World War II. And she died of typhus at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in 1945. After watching Ellie's video, I just could not believe that a person, even Justin Bieber, could do such a thing, something so stupid. Something so self-centered that they would write in Anne Frank's guest book a history figure and they would say she would have been a believer. Hopefully she would have been a believer. At that moment I had to go and do the research. I had to find out if this was true because I believed it to be false. I was hoping it was false but after doing the research, I realized that it was true. There are people out there who follow Justin Bieber and other pop celebrities like gods. These role models are supposed to set an example. They are supposed to teach you to be a good person. But instead, they teach you to be easy, cheap, self-centered, and to place yourself above other people and make you feel like you're more important and these people down there are just puny. Anne Frank is the representation of a hero, the representation of courage, the representation of strength and most of all the representation of humanity and for someone, a public figure, to walk into her museum and to say I am better than you and if you were still around you would worship me. One of my role models is the band Iron Maiden, who taught me to be powerful, to be strong, to be inspired, and to work hard. And that is what a role model should do. By the way, if you haven't read the book The Diary of Young Girl, then I suggest you do so, because it will teach you a little more compassion and self-respect. Another thing is that there are a lot of people out there who are saying, why are people making a big deal out of this story? And I'll tell you why. They're making a big deal out of the story because it's the only way to punish these useless celebrities who are so self-centered and tarnishing their reputation is the only way to say to them, this is what you will be remembered for. I remember you, I will remember you for your bad acts. Lindsay Lohan is the perfect, perfect example of this because when I think Lindsay Lohan, I think the twat. My brother was like a few years ago, he said to me, but she's hot, man. I was like, no, I don't care. She's a tart. And that's what I will remember her for, for being the twat. So listeners, have you read the book, The Diary of Young Girl? And for the rest, I'm not going to ask, ask you any more questions. I just want you to express your mind, express your brilliant mind and be open-minded, be powerful, be, be inspired and be strong. So listeners, thank you for listening. So until next time, give it all the time.